Hi there, Adria here from KajabiExperts.com. This video we're gonna see how to use the forms, the what the Kajabi guys released yesterday, the Kajabi form. So how you can get information from the users inside your database. So it can either be in your Kajabi or it can be in your email, in your email integration, whatever. So forms allows you to get data from your landing pages and to put it inside well, to save it in Kajabi or to put it inside your email marketing tool or whatever tool. Uh, as the previous video, well, I'm supposing that you've seen the landing pages video. So if you haven't done that, please make sure to first check the landing pages video that you will find in the same YouTube channel. If you have seen it already, then you are fine to go because I'm supposing that you've seen first the landing pages video. As I said in the landing pages video, this uh, forms has just released yesterday as beta so anything that you see here might or may not change in the actual kajabi that you're using because they are releasing things fast so now let's go ahead let's see how we can use the forms and how you can benefit of the forms inside your kajabi platform let's see then how the forms work so i'm gonna use the this test landing page that i created before in a previous video and we're gonna go again to marketing forms and here we see the forms that we have in our page the forms are basically forms as the word says so they are to to collect data they can help us collect data in several different ways and we can then later use this data in other platforms like uh, Infusionsoft, ConvertKit, MailChimp, whatever we want. So we can do exactly whatever we want with this data. That's the powerful, powerful thing of the Kajabi forms. So what we're going to do now is, well, we can use the default form, but I'm going to create a new form from scratch. So you see the whole process. I'm going to go here, new form. I'm going to call it test form. And I'm gonna save it. Now you see that there are several uh, form fields. We have some of, uh, well, here, first of all, it's the field. So we have the ones that we're currently using that by default are the name and email. And we have some other ones like phone number, address, address like city, state, country, etc. We can even add more fields here to our form. So just by pressing new field, we can add more for more fields. For example, I don't know, let's say that we want to know the age. So we're going to call it age. And then this, th this type of field would be text, but you can either do several. We could actually do a select box if you want to write from, I don't know, 18 to 100 so each new line would be a new value so it would be 18 19 20 and you have to write uh, until 100 or until the age you support so you have some time to spend here you can also mark this field as required or not and you can save it and now we're gonna see how the age appears here we can either kill it or we can uh, change the sorting make it appear the first, second or last one, or even stop using it. So if we drag it, sorry, here, if we hit remove, it's going to be removed from here and we, and we have it here. If you want to delete it, sorry, said before you click the remove button that you go inside and you click on delete and you delete the field. Okay. We have name and email and I'm going to add also, okay, I'm going to add the age. So I'm going to add it to the form. So we see how it works. We have here the details of the form that basically contains two things. First is the title, as we said, and the second one is a webhook URL. So basically what you can do is when someone submits this form, two things will happen. First thing is that in this tab in submissions the data will be safe we will see that later how the data is safe second thing that can happen is here in details you can integrate a webhook url you can basically put whatever url it can be 
a Zapier URL, it can be any of my integrations URL, as I said, uh, in Kajabi Experts, you actually, let me show you, you can go to services, uh, email integrations, and you see here all the integrations that I currently offer. So all of the integrations that I offer here also works with forms. That means that I will provide you a webhook URL that you can put here, and whenever someone submits a form, they will uh, the data of the form will get passed to your integration. So for example, I don't know, if you're using ConvertKit and someone submits this form, the data will be sent to ConvertKit. If you're using Infusionsoft, the data of the form will be sent to Infusionsoft and so on. Uh, I, I mean, I did some of the integrations. If you're looking into uh, any other one or you want data, for example, to be sent to your email or whatever, just drop me an email and I will do my best to uh, have this integration done. Okay, so from here, I'm going to save it. We have the preview button, so we can actually preview the form. This is, as the preview said, this is just for previewing purposes, so nobody should go to the this form at all. We see here the name, the email, and our H field and submit. We can even try it. I'm going to fill something. And the H I'm going to put 19, submit. So you see the form has been submitted. If we go to submissions, we have the data here. So we can always have the data here. If we now had a webhook URL, this data would have been submitted also to the other service. So Infusionsoft or whatever other service that we got. Again, this is just for previewing purposes and not, you shouldn't share this URL. What we're going to do now is we're going to add this URL to our landing page. So we had our landing page here and we're going to add this form. I'm going to go to landing pages. We have the test landing page here and always you, you have to do it in customize. So here you will see the form section. Usually it all depends on the theme, but usually it's here, the form section. For example, in my theme, the coming soon theme, I have also here you can customize the logo and the text and whatever. And also you can do, you can change the form. So we have here the opt-in provider that currently I support the three different uh, providers. So we have ConvertKit, MailMunch and Kajabi form. So you can also choose the Kajabi form. I'm going to go back to landing pages. And here I'm going to go to, as I was saying, the test landing page, customize. And here we have the form and we can enable. So we can show the form and select which of our forms we want to use. In this case, I'm let's use the test form, the one that we created. And we can also customize some of the stuff here for the form. I'm going to save. And I'm going to really refresh the page. So now we should see our form here. So we have name, email, age, and the button to register now. Really, really close to the download now button. So we should now do some styling here to put the download now a little bit down or we could just remove download now but um, but you get the idea right so you saw how easy it was to create a form and to put it inside our landing page mm -hmm.